saying that to artists and they're like, oh. Well, I'm getting used to talking about it at this point. Brain when you freeze. walk through here and you look at the landscape, it's, you don't necessarily see what's happening. You don't think about it. Most people just keep walking. Um, I wanted to draw attention to how the, the land is eroding. So I created the sculpture of uh, driftwood, which I think people associate with water. So the driftwood is taking the place of the water that's running down the hill when it rains. And it's over a path of erosion, so you can see how the water follows its course and the course that it creates underneath it. Um, so sort of explaining the process of erosion in a static form. Now this is kind of Andrew Goldsworthy looking. Thank you. Is it, is it, is it <laughs> sort of. permanent? It is permanent. Well, How do you keep it permanent? Where it, it won't it be? Is it womanized? Or it, it won't last forever, but it is sealed with a couple different materials. Okay. I just use materials that soak in because I didn't want that lacquered look. Uh huh. Look. It would be natural. Um, I want it to look just like the wood is naturally, and uh, it's soaked in. It, it really should last quite a while. Um, what, what, like when you say quite a while, what do you what do you think? It won't last more than ten years, I don't think. Ten years. But we're hoping for close to ten years as possible. <laughs> Like with certain segments of, of uh, I'm sure that's that's definitely a possibility. I mean, you have to find the right piece that will fit right. into what, and it'll change it a little bit. But yeah, I think that's definitely a good possibility. And it's attached in a manner that things can be uh, removed and put back on. I would imagine that it's going to grow in around it too. It's going to, yeah. uh, it might even get covered up, well, in a uh, sense. When the water comes down, it will it, eliminate it the plants that are directly underneath it. Oh, that's because good. Because the okay. water will, you know, drip it. Yeah, right. and, uh, and also. I found this out recently. Uh, fewer plants means longer life for the wood that's up there. Right. So good, not having good. too many plants underneath is, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been interesting to see the change in the landscape just over this past summer because it's been so wet. And I mean, I can see things that have changed just in the summer. So hopefully it won't change quite fast from now on. But it's been an interesting year. <laughs> One of the reasons that erosion is um, an interesting piece and an important message is, as you probably noticed, there are many eroded areas through the ravine. And, you know, you always hear about um, the effects of stormwater runoff and, you know, in cities and whether the sewers can take it and our basements flooding and all of that. And the reason that those things happen is when there's so much built environment around there's not, um, you know, the land, and land acts like a sponge and collects the water and absorbs the water. And when you've got concrete everywhere, the water goes looking for some place to drain. And sometimes it overwhelms the sewers. And if it can't find a place to drain, it just heads down. And that's what is happening with the erosion. And all of this water is trying to find its way to the lake. And on its way, it's picking up trash, contaminants, stuff that, you know, people, that, that people fertilize their yards. I mean, this is one reason that organic gardening, a lot of people are coming around to that because all of that material gets picked up by water that is moving through um, uh, its course and ending up someplace, um, a larger body of water like the lake. So um, this is illustrating that for us. <laughs>